Hello everybody, it's Suffolk Blue, all the way from merry old England. How the devil are you? I hope you're well. Welcome back to the Attack of the BT Minecraft Let's Play series. We're going to carry on today with the farmhouse, which we started in the last episode, um, and I'm currently standing on top of it now. Now what we're going to do, we're going to carry on doing some of these windows, um, just to finish them off so that we've uh, got them all done. We're actually going to put the windows in the same uh, in the same place, uh, on this side as well, so let's carry on. Uh, again, other upside down L. Um, yeah, there we go. The door itself also is going to have to have another one, so we're going to have to put leave two blocks in there. You see where the door goes. And then we're going to put in another. Now, in this farmhouse, I'm going to use some of Mr. Crayfish's furniture because I've not really done an awful lot of that yet. Um, and I know a lot of you would prefer me to use all the mods that are in Attack of the B Team because otherwise, why bother playing Attack of the B Team? Um, so, I will, of course, do that. And we will have some Mr. Uh, Crayfish furniture in here at least. So, these are where the windows are going to be on this side. Let's just pop in our glass so that we know. There we go. And there. And there. And we're just going to build up these walls. Again, leaving that space at the top there for the fancy last brick, if you like, that we put in. Let's go around that. And that. And there. So this is... I mean, I hope uh, you really should be able to see how easy this is to um, uh, sort of put all this together. Sorry about that. I had a noise behind me. I honestly thought somebody was standing behind me just then. Um, and I'm in the middle of doing a recording, so I am going to shut my door, because that scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Honestly thought somebody was standing right behind me then. I'm alone in the house, you see, so... Oh. Right, so back to... Now, let's carry on. So, what we're going to do then, we're just going to pop on our thatching across here. There, there, there and there, and there and there. Let's pop the thatching on. Now, in the last episode, I said that thatching was from wheat. It isn't, obviously. It's from sugar cane. Um, so, don't try and get uh, thatching from wheat, because that's not going to help you at all. Um, we're going to put in... Actually, let's put in our wooden ones first. One there. One there. Oops. That went a bit in the wrong place. Excellent. Okay, one there, one there to try and even it out, one there, and one there. Let's just fill these in. And again, the reason we do this is just to give a little bit of texture, make it look a bit different, it's not a straightforward flat brick wall. Oops, we really want to do that there. Brilliant. So from the inside, getting there. Uh, have I got any? I do. Excellent. It saves me having to use up me single ones because I can just go along here, like so. So there's the wall, and then we can just knock out as we do with the other ones. This bit here and here, here and here. Here and here. Actually, I think what we'll do is we can also look at knocking out this part and putting some wood in here rather than brick. I'm really worried actually about some creepers coming in here now. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do that. And what we'll do in a second is we'll just put down some torches as well because obviously night time will be coming soon and it's going to get dark in here. Um, torches, we do have some. Uh, let's just lighten this up a little wee bit. And. Whoops, there. Good, so that should give us plenty of light. We should be okay now from mobs. Let's do an F7 just to see. Oh, yeah, the mobs are right here, aren't they? Oh, whoops. Um, let's just put one in the middle there for now. We've got to build up those walls anyway. So. Windows are in. Um, you can just knock out these as well. 
and this one over here. Superb. So those are our windows in. Now, over time, what we can also, I'm thinking about what we can also do is actually extend some of these out a little bit to give a bit more shape inside, but we can do that when we get round to it. So, there is the outside part of our main building, all right? Um, I'm not very happy with this at the moment, and this actually I'm going to change, because I think what we can start doing here is taking out some of these unnecessary blocks and maybe putting in... Um, things like, let's have a think about this, we could probably put in, no, not right at all, because otherwise that looked really square, so actually what we can do is we can do stuff like this, just to make that look a bit different, and I actually quite like the idea of going there and there, creating a bit of an arch over the top of that, and that looks pretty cool. Okay, so the next thing then is the roof. Um, the roof is going to start, and we are going to use a lot of these. Uh, we are going to overhang, so let's just run this round for a second. We're going to overhang over the top here. Um, we are also going to, I think I'm going to do, um, let me think, do I want this to be a straight edge? I think we want this to be a straight edge. So if we get back to our marble, what we want on the side here really is the uh, sort of if you remember if you go back over to our marketplace houses over here you'll see that we use that white marble uh, that sort of white marble look to do that Tudor building look well I want to do the same thing over here the difference is of course um, is that we want to do this uh, on red brick as opposed to on the ones that we've done um, we could do that now we've got to be a bit careful there because actually the chimney's going to go right through the middle of that, isn't it? So that's, that, that would be that would be silly. So let's not do that. Let's build up this chimney. Let's look at building this chimney up. Um, on the inside, I'm just thinking how I would do this. Do I want brickwork on the inside? I think I do. So let's just make up again some more panels because we're going to carry this up. This we'll go up another level here. We're still going to do one on the inside, even though actually that marble is not flammable, but it doesn't matter. Um, one, two, three. Oops. And out. Let's just pop that in there. Um, chimney's going to go up again. Now, at some point, I want that chimney to end, and I think it's going to stop here. So, if we... where did I put down a... let's put down this inside the building now. For now, and let's just make up... have I got enough just to make... I have, okay. This is just a stack of, because I want to see how high this goes. Um, the roof, let's just follow the roof up, so we can see. It's going to go in there and in there still. And to there. Uh, let's do the same on this side. Well, this side's going to be easy because there is no chimney. So actually, let's just do this one so we can see how high this is going to go. One, two, three, four. One, two. Um, we're not going to have one in the middle. So that's going to be look like that. So if we build up this part and go bump, bump, bump. Uh, oops, that one, oops, oh, I knew I was going to do that. Silly. Let's go off the ground. Yep. Yep. No, wrong. Okay. Superb. Now I could, think about it, I think I will, I could put one, uh, just to get a proper crown on this roof here and here. So we now know the full height of this roof is going to be that. It's quite high, um, but yeah, I think that's okay. So the full height is going to be that. Let's do the same here. Two, three, four. So in reality, this chimney is going to need to go up 
Oops. One, two, three, four, five. So that's one stack high, which now means that the top of the chimney is the same height as there, I hope. That is exactly the same height, although it's square, obviously, rather than a pointy bit. So, let's take, um... Where are they? Are they in here? Can they get in? This is the important thing. Uh, yes, they can. So, let's just block... Let's do a bit of a... Panic door. There we go. Oh, I'm dying of hunger as well. Look at this. Berry Melodies. Yes, I'm sorry, Digimaster. Your canning machine works marvellously. It just doesn't give me enough food. There we go. Okay, so, what have we got? So, our roof is going to have to go up by another one. So, let's just chop down, take some of these, and chop them up into the frames. You don't have... Yeah, I could actually make um, the hollow ones a bit thicker, but I quite like doing it in eights. It just sort of makes sense to me. Let's get off the ground and away. So we can go one, two, three, oops, four, five, six, eight. One more. Eight. Eight. So they're now on the top, but we want this chimney to be higher. Three, four, five. Oops. Why are you not working? stack? That should be a stack. It might be a bit more than a stack now. Well, that's less than a stack. Oh, dear. So that's a stack. And that's a stack. So if I take this one away now... Yeah, that's fine. There we go. He missed his opportunity to hit me. So, uh, we're going to go up on again on this side then. One, two, three, four. Up to the same height as to the side. Okay. So, if we now go off the ground before we hurt ourselves, let's just pull across our ceiling, if you like, because you've got to remember, I'm going to have upstairs as a bedroom. So, I want to pull this across. So, this is definitely the top of the building. Uh, let's pull the side across for now. And let's pull this part side across as well. Oh! Oh! Where's my sword? You can go away. Thank you very much. And you. You're a pain is what you people are. Make all that noise. And you. And you. Right, everyone quiet now, apart from you. I'm trying to do a video here. It's very important. And you, trying to come in. This is not your farmhouse. Off you pop. Okay. So, we're just going to finish this bit off. So, we're just putting in the roof at this point. Now, I'm not suggesting that the inside of this building upst upstairs is going to look like this. Because it would be very small and very cramped and very dark. But, what it does allow me to do is just put on the roof and then we can fix, if you like, what part of upstairs we want and how, how, how upstairs we want it to look. So, let's do that. Get the roofs in place. Oh, headbutt ya. Yeah. Um, let's put in... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can see how the roof is going to um, work with the chimney now. So the chimney is still proud at one end. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. So the chimney is still going to be nice and proud above the uh, top of that, but it does lead all the way down into the fireplace. I'll show you how, obviously, we put some nether rack down there as well and turn that on. The important thing to do is just to check to see what starts smouldering first because we're using flammable materials in this building, and if you put a, a naked fire around them at some point, you may find that they are going to catch light and burn. Um, we haven't quite got enough of I haven't got anywhere near enough uh, these so let's go and uh, do that let's go and get some more of these um, actually I've got some wood on me I might as well oh you lot honestly so much noise oh 
Oops. What's got on your head, frog hat? Right, let's go in the house and make ourselves... We need some sticks is what we need. Now I can take... Oops, what am I doing? I can take some of these. Let's make some sticks. And I think if I just go around that, make some of those, get some sticks, and then go across there like so, with them like that, we get some more of these. Three, which is annoying. Excellent. Um, let's just throw these on the floor for now. Because they'll only dissolve and we don't care, we don't need them. So we've got plenty of these. Let's go outside and put them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. And on this side, same again, just to put the roof in place. So you can now see how big the farmhouse is going to look in terms of its roof. Obviously it hasn't got at the moment this on. We don't have enough thatch at the moment. We're going to have to go and make some more, which is fine. Go and grow some. But just by thatching it across like this, hopefully you'll start to get a feel of what that roof is going to look like. I certainly like the way it interacts with the chimney, and I like the way it interacts with... Um, white without being all white on that side. Have we run out of thatch? We have. Um, whereas this side doesn't. So what we need now is some more thatching. So I shall go away and grow some more thatching because we've got to go and get some from our sugarcane factory over here. So we will come back when I've got some more and uh, we will finish it off. So I shall be right back. Okay, so welcome back. We have finally managed um, to get enough sugarcane to uh, make the thatching on the roof. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. I quite like this chimney effect on the end. I am seeing a few bits that I'm not liking. I'm no longer liking these sort of um, end parts of the wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn them in on themselves. Which hopefully anyway. Like that. That looks better. So straight away that, that end of that wood just looked a bit... I don't know whether it's because it's very similar colour to the thatch. Um, but it really did stick out quite a lot and it was quite... I don't know, it didn't blend very well. So, we'll take that out. That's easy to do. We're just popping in the uh, the logs that way around instead. Let's just do that. Excellent. So let's have a quick look inside, because we've now got to fix the ceiling, really, and get that looking right. Come on, in you go. Thank you. So, obviously what we've got down here at the moment is an awful lot of stuff that we don't need. So let's cut out and get back to our uh, sort of wedge... Let's get back to our wedges and get all of this packing material because really the only reason this was here was to allow us to really put the wedges on. So let's let's whip this out. Excellent. I'll be a bit careful with the axe, obviously, because I don't want to chop out everything I've done. Oops. And that one. Fabulous. Then we can get onto the old and get the cobble out. Now I'm sort of wondering whether I'm going to have anything on this ceiling or not, or whether I'm just going to have straight into the thatch, which does look pretty good. Um, but part of me is sort of saying, well, no, it would be nicer to have something um, on the ceiling, maybe. Maybe not, actually. No, see, again, the great thing with this game, I love this game so much, because I can, I can sit here and I'm thinking, well, what can I do to this ceiling? And actually, I could put some beams across this ceiling, to give it that sort of old farmhousey type, you know, that old thatched building look. So let's just take this out first and see what we're left with. We'll put a bit of a floor in, I think. That's another thing that will help to... Because I think once you put a floor in, you start to understand how a space might work. So let's just whip out the last of this. All the way along here. I also made some more berry medallies because I was running out. So we've had a load more of that. Excellent. 
just pick up all of this and then we'll have a look up I mean I think that looks pretty good as it is but I want that I want this to be a livable space really um, let's have a look let's get these across here um, two maybe one two three four five and then oops, that one so across so out by two so one two and then one two okay so that we've got some beams we've got some beams in place now let's pop in a, ce a floor and a ceiling material <laughs> depending on which side you're on oops I quite like that as a f as a f do I let's have a look oh I definitely like that as a ceiling material it really does look good oops off we go and those beams just help to break that white up so it's not just one big massive white three and four yes yeah, so this from, from down here I think that looks pretty pretty cool let's put this in uh, have we got any more? yes we do plenty um, We'll leave that in. So this is will become our roof space, I suppose. Oh, I don't think that looks too bad. I mean, I think we can put a carpet down. We definitely got to put a window in here somewhere, haven't we? Um, otherwise, it's going to look a bit. Should we put a, a double window in here? Let's have a look at how that would look from outside. I don't mind that. Where's the glass? Let's have a look. Although I'd rather actually think about it, I'd rather. Whoops, not that one. Ah, I would rather if we get rid of that. Would I rather it was this high? Let's have a look. Right up into the re into the eaves. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that a lot. And how does that look from the outside? get these down now. Let's get some doors on here in a second. Yeah, that don't look too bad because what we can do, we, we are going to have to um, do a little bit of work around this and getting the... And actually, that looks quite because that will mirror the white on this side as well, won't it? Yes. Because we're going to do some micro-blocking on that part as well at some point. I haven't got there yet. At the moment, we're just getting the, the space working. Let's knock these through for a second. So... The space downstairs is starting to come together. I'm having a look at these, and I'm not, I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it at all. This is just too pronounced. It's just too much. So I'm going to whip this out, this extra bit here. I'll whip it out. And I think what we're going to do, what we'll look at trying to do instead. Oops, come here. Let's have a berry medley. I think what we want to try and do is rather than have um, that coming out by have we got any more of those? Oh man! Okay, hold on. There we go. Is to sort of make it less huge because I don't know. It just seemed a little bit I don't know extra. That might look quite cool. Oh, that's better. See, just a little bit less. Sometimes a little bit less is more. Still got a step. Okay. And then I think what we can start to look at doing on the inside, maybe. Oops. Although, that's not a bad idea. Where's my... Um, can I double you up to make the thicker ones? Yes, I can. I wonder if we can look at doing something like... this. Because again, what I'm trying to do, really, is just not have everything quite so, so square and just giving us a bit of a bit of a, an inside texture, maybe. Maybe not. Not sold on that at the moment. Let's have a look, though. I wonder what it would look like if we did both sides. Sometimes the symmetry helps. Because otherwise your eyes look for differences and then it looks a bit odd. But actually, if you start to do stuff like this, it just begins to creep around to look alright. If I did the same thing on 
this side? No, I want to leave that. I don't know, I just think that door needed something. Okay. Well, am I happy with that window? Or do I want just a double, a single slit window? I am happy with that window. I'm happy with the window. Shall we go and grab some netherrack and see if it burns down? <laughs> this is this is the bit where all the hard work goes to pot, and uh, you light it up, and uh, suddenly your your whole your whole ceiling burns down. Any netherrack in here? Yes, we do. One, two. Oh, rubbish. Um. Oh well got more clay than I know what to do with. Right, so let's go and take this nether rack. We need a, we're going to need to get rid of a little bits and bobs. Make some space because we're going to need a uh, uh, flint and steel to light it all with. Get out of there for a second. Oh, flint and steel around here somewhere? Yes, I have. Right, let's go and set this alight and see what happens. Where's my nether rack? Now we've got to be ready to put this out, <laughs> because the whole thing could go up if it catches, so we'll soon find out. So this goes at the bottom, like so, and if I go, let's go outside and see what catches, if anything. Just for a second. Now you can see on the bottom here you're going to get smoke coming out, because this isn't, these are not full blocks I suppose. Obviously the smoke particles don't reach as high as the top. But all we're looking for is probably things like this here and this here and whether these burn at any particular point. I can't see anything. If we just have a quick look inside. I think that looks pretty good. Uh oh, spider. I think that looks pretty good. Where is it? It's around here somewhere. It's probably on the roof or something. There you are. Okay, that's fine. Well, nothing appears to have set fire just yet. Plenty of time. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to happen straight away. Normally it's when these particles, if they happen to touch anything, off it goes. Um, but, ooh, careful. We don't want a creeper attack. Um... But that doesn't look too bad. So we will have, in the end of the day, a roaring log fire in this farmhouse. It does look like it's a bit high to me, though. As in, the the flames are pretty visible. You can see them all the way up. So I think what I am going to do is that. That's going to lock that in a little bit. And then also what I'll probably do is, I think, is make a bit of a mantelpiece and a fireplace surround around that. Again, let's just go and see whether anything has caught light. We might be okay. Normally if it was going to, it'd go pretty much straight away as soon as it touched something, but those flames are burning away in there nicely and nothing appears to have gone up in flames. We need to put... I don't know if there's any bad guys upstairs, but we need to put some torches in. Otherwise we will have some. There are none, that's good. Just put on some torches in here for a second, just to get that going. Wonderful. So this is a nice little bedroom area. As I said, I think what we can do is if we take stuff, and we won't use these sorts of micro blocks, but what we can look at doing is something like this, where we build like a frame across the ceiling, like so they sort of go down the sides, down the sides, and just to sort of create a ribbing throughout the ceiling. Um, it's as weird as it sounds, I'm actually going to put that out now. <laughs> Only because I want to focus on the other stuff and I don't want the place to burn down if it's going to. So that's the fireplace. That will now work. The next job, I think, we've obviously got this extension to build out, which we haven't done yet. But I'm going to leave that. Um, I'm not going to do that next. What I think I'm going to look at next is doing some of the external micro-blocking, because that's going to take a little bit of time uh, to do. I think this episode's been long enough. It certainly has been long enough as far as waiting for sugarcane is concerned. So I'm going to call this one quits for now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I know it's just sort of a case of me building stuff again, but I hope what I'm doing is sort of explaining my process of building um, and how I come up with some of the ideas that I come up with, because I know you guys want to try and follow some of these sometimes. 
Um, if you have got any suggestions, if you've got any comments, if you've got any ideas that you think I've missed or you want me to go over anything, please leave a comment uh, in the video and I'll certainly get around and have a look at them. Um, that's a villager, that one. Um, if you've liked the video, please leave a like. It really does help out a, a, a lot. Um, just to get a like because it does sort of make it all a little bit worthwhile. Um, so I've been Suffolk Blue. I hope you've had fun. Uh, leave a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time when we will do some external microblogging to our farmhouse. You take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.